Look at that. Yes, a partial lunar eclipse should be starting anytime. Jeff, just take it away. Tell the folks what they're in for tonight. Okay, you're looking at the full harvest moon. Uh, you can only have a lunar eclipse on a night of a full moon, and it, we're going to get into a partial eclipse, all right? Uh, only about 8% of the moon's uh, surface is going to be covered. It's going to be kind of the top little to the left. Uh, but now, it's going to fall into a, a lighter shadow here uh, shortly, and it's going to lose some of its luster uh, because of that as it falls into that shadow. You'll notice. I mean, it'll be enough of a shadow to notice, but the real shadow will show up a little bit later, and it's all going to be very exciting. Uh, the full harvest moon, uh, it just rose. It rose at 729, uh, and sunset today was 715, so slightly ahead, so it was full probably earlier in this day. And, of course, the partial eclipse is the big story. We're going to have a full lunar eclipse in spring of next year in March, but this one being the partial eclipse. Now, uh, it's going to start here very shortly, just start, and it starts first with this kind of lighter shadow moving over it, and then the, the, the total eclipse shad type shadow, I mean, the one that if it covered the whole moon would be in total eclipse, but it's only going to cover 8% of it. Uh, that's going to start moving in. The maximum, the best view is at 944, so if the kiddos can stay awake that long, you'll have the best view of this whole event, because it's, it's slowly unfolds. It takes like four hours 